Hi guys! In one of my previous videos I showed you how to make an edible silk fabric and today I'm gonna show you how to use the same recipe to make a beautiful stretchy edible lace that you can use to decorate your cakes with. Let me just quickly explain what you need for this recipe. I have here 40 milliliters of cold water and I put inside 20 grams of powdered gelatin and I will leave it to soak for 15 minutes. I want it to soak really well so I don't have any particles, any parts of the gelatin left so I'll have a smooth texture and uh, once this is well soaked I will put it in the microwave and heat it up just below the boiling point then I will add one teaspoon of glycerin and 20 grams of chocolate. You can use white, you can use dark chocolate. It depends on the color of the lace that you are looking for. If this chocolate is too yellow for you, you can also yet add uh, some color, powdered colors, uh, white, if you want it white or any other color, of course. And uh, for the lace, I have here a silicone mold for my lace and just a couple of scrapers you only need one it depends on the size of your lace and that's basically it now we'll just leave this gelatin to soak well after 15 minutes this is what you get because it's a lot of gelatin and not a lot of water inside so now it's time to heat this up just below the boiling point i'll be right back so this gelatin is now very hot. Just make sure there are no little parts of undissolved gelatin inside. And now we are going to add a teaspoon of glycerin. you get it's very uh, yellow color so now you can add either some white powder color to make it more white or any other color but I want it to uh, to make uh, silver color so the best foundation for the silver color is gray so I will just add a tiny tiny bit of black Hopefully, I'll get a gray foundation. Let's check. Okay, a little bit more. If you want a gold color of your lace, a golden color, then it's best if you start with dark chocolate and you have brown foundation and uh, then the gold color will really come through. So this is grayish, I believe, uh, and it has cooled down. It's a little bit too thick, so I will just heat it up in the microwave once more before I start to apply it on this mold. So I heat it up, my mixture of gelatin and chocolate and water, and now it's running just right. Uh, this pattern has three different laces, and I'm gonna aim just for one. I could maybe do two of them but it's very hard to do it in one go so you have only one chance to scrape it so i'll just aim for one this uh, this uh, recipe is hardened very fast you don't need a lot of this and now you just scrape it all the way down all right now give it a few minutes so it hardens up 
this color isn't very pleasant, isn't, isn't nice looking, but hopefully after I apply some silver color, it's gonna look good. Before you take your lace out, you have to prevent all the stickiness because it's very sticky. And if you already have the color that you want, just use some starch and just put some starch on it so it's not sticking anymore. But if you want some other color like I do, then just use powdered colors and apply it to the lace. brush it on and this will also pre prevent the stickiness Do it on the table or on another silicon mat and then just flip it around very carefully, peel it off. Just peel it off. You see how sticky this is? And to prevent that, just use some color, powder color, or some starch. And you can place all the leftovers in your bowl and just heat it up again. And just a little bit of this, just a small amount of this recipe, goes a very long way. And you can reheat it many times. So I hope you like it. that cream mixture for the lace that you can buy in cake shops and online and you probably already have all the ingredients for this recipe at home it's just water gelatin chocolate and some glycerin that's it um, I have to admit I do love this recipe and I had to try it on my Medusa it would look better in bowl of course for her um, but I do have a great idea how to use uh, some lace uh, for my next fast cake. Uh, now it's not sticky. If you want to stick this on your cake or whatever, um, you can use some piping gel on your cake or some egg white so just to make it stick a little bit. Make sure it's not too much moisture so you don't melt this and then you can easily stick it on your cake. Thank you for your time guys. Uh, stay creative and healthy and please don't ever forget that anything is possible, you have to believe.